we have a phenomenal field here in Cagliari for the men's race. And we've got the two men who've been favourite for the world title between them for the last two years. Even though they haven't won it, Yi and Wild. First time we've seen them in a race for a while. Yeah, first time that they've raced a World Series race since the final in Pontevedra last year. The silver and bronze medalists from Tokyo, they have been the men to beat over the last couple of years, but they haven't yet got that world title. But it's going to be really exciting to see what form they're in heading into the Paris Olympics. Talking of men to beat, Morgan Pearson was the men to beat in Yokohama. Really quick run, but we've seen from him before, he can be a bit in and out. You just don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to get with Pearson. He was phenomenal in Yokohama. Fastest run of the day, an incredible all-round performance performance but he does have that inconsistency so yeah. are we going to see him have that winning performance or is he going to come 50th and a quick word about the French we've got Koenig's sadly that injury in Yokohama so now Vincent Luis there may be a way for him to get to the games that didn't seem to exist a year ago I know it's been thrown wide open by that crash in Yokohama and it's really competitive amongst those French men. They've got to go out there and prove themselves at these races to get themselves on the team to Paris. It's the last Olympic qualification race. It's not just the finishing line behind us, it's a line in the sand for some of these athletes and their Paris ambitions. So away they go, 60 men. It is a seriously strong field here. And I can tell you the weather has taken a turn for the worse. Much choppier for the men in the med than it was for the women earlier. Matt Stapp, please, the early leader. Won a World Cup race in Chengdu recently. Morgan Pearson prominent in the early stages of this second lap. And also Gonzalez of Spain is right there too. The question is how much separation is there at the front and what will that translate to in terms of number of men on a bike breakaway. Gonzalez is first out, then Crociani. Lacour is there, big race for him. Pearson also, just a few seconds back. So a great swim for the Spaniard. Now, what's his transition like? Oh, pretty good. Lacour is away. What well, is 10 seconds down the road, but he's going to wait for the cavalry, I think. 24 men in this leading group. And some big names too. There are the chasers. They're the ones who've missed it. But up front, it's single file, and that tells you they are seriously shifting. Might not be 24 for long, especially in this weather. Blumenfeld on the front now. Four laps to go. Hayden Wild loves to attack on the bike. And we are down to just 18 men now. Morgan Pearson riding with Crociani. He was spat out the back a few laps ago. So, about to get out of the shoes with a 10k run ahead of them. And you'd have to think Yi and Wild will be the big two favourites here. Wild just slightly slower than Yi in transition, but there nothing between them really. Dickinson is in between. There goes Louis and Bajer. And already the big two are out front. Chunga Lehmann is currently chasing them in third place, the Hungarian. He's got a gap as well. Well, how many battles have we seen down the year between these two? Meanwhile, Lacour needs sixth place. He's currently seventh. One more spot will get him to Paris if he can move up. Yi finally has laid down the gauntlet, and he looks like he may have first run here on Hayden Wild. Wild is trying to stay with him, but Yi has a gap. Eventually, he's broken the Kiwi. He absolutely owns Cagliari, Alex Yi. Three wins out of three in Sardinia. Yi wins. Wild is a gallant second. And Lacour is now in sixth place. If he stays there, he'll be at a home Olympics. Massive. Lehman, what a performance. First ever medal at this level for the Hungarian. He claims bronze. And we look further back to just double check. Yes, Lacour is in sixth. And he is going to be in Paris. Oh, what a finish. Yeah, you see the arm pump there from Pierre Lacour. That sixth means he's confirmed his spot. He's going to be going to the Paris Olympics. Charles Paquet in seventh position. Luke William with an incredible run again. He, he ran his way back up to that group. Eighth place. It's going to be ninth place for Vanson Luis. Second ninth place. I think he was ninth um, in Yokohama as well. Jonas Schomburg kind of getting a top 10. 
I mean, the amount of racing he's done, two World Cup podiums, top 10 here. I mean, he's, uh, he's had a, an amazing, an amazing kind of few months and that's got him definitely then, got him that um, spot, third spot in the German Olympic team. Here we go, sprint now for 11th position. Gonzalez Garcia just getting ahead. I mean, he's got an amazing sprint there. Van Riel just pulling up. He's uh, didn't quite have it. I mean, if he didn't have that penalty, oh, it's such a shame. See Hugo Milner coming down there. So he's had an incredible run. I mean, he was in that second pack that was over two minutes down. He's just coming onto the blue carpet now. So it's going to be finishing in 13th position. I mean, that is absolutely insane running. I mean, he's probably run a similar time to Alex Yee, Hayden Wild there. I mean, that's, uh, that's how fast he's been running. And uh, we just saw Taylor Reid go through. Leo Bajer, who, who we know did come in slightly under the weather, but kind of really wanted to go out there, show what he could do. Adrian Brifford in 14th. Taylor Reid coming home for a top 15. That's a solid day out for the Kiwi. So Leo Bajer 16th, and we do know he's got better than that. He's just not um, not 100% today. Alex, well done. We've seen you have a few battles with Hayden down the years. That was one of the best, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, what we're putting on uh, for you guys, because well, it's, it's everything I have, and I hope, yeah, I speak for Hayden, it probably is everything he has, and we're just trying to make racing as exciting as possible, you know. Um, so yeah, I hope you hope you're enjoying, and yeah, I, I hope it carries on for the rest of the year. Was it always the plan, similar to last year actually, where you went what three, four hundred meters from the from the end? No, I just think we were running so fast that I mean, uh, each of us were making like little moves here and there, and we were just run, both running so strong that I mean, I don't know what the run split is, but it would have been fairly quick up until the, the definitely the third lap. So I mean, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm pleased to just be. You know, back racing, put put Pontevedra to bed. Like it probably was, you know, to end the year like that was a bit of a disappointment. Um, and yeah, I'm just just pleased to, to show that I'm a triathlete again. Well, everyone goes on about your run, but you must be really pleased with your both your swim and your bike today. Really solid on both. Yeah, I, I don't know how uh, it ended up, but I mean, I, I think my second lap of the swim must have been really super quick. Yeah, so I mean, that was really positive. I mean, I, that first boy just because of the not because of the lads, just because of the chop was. You know, so 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 chaotic, but I mean, yeah, just happy to uh, to be around and yeah. Great way to start the season, well done. No, thank you very much. Uh, thank, thanks to everyone watching back home. Hayden, you've had so many tight battles with Alex. That was another one. I mean, do you get frustrated or do you just enjoy racing with him? Oh no, it's a great time. Like um, I think when I talked to you a couple of days ago, I. I don't, I didn't really care where I came, but it was all about the swim. And hey, I came out of the front pack today, and that was fantastic. So really happy about that. And I was closer this time, uh, this time last year. So uh, yeah, getting closer and closer, which is really like positive. And I know what I need to work on now for the next race. We saw you attempt a couple of times. It looked like to get a breakaway on the bike. Didn't quite manage to do it. Yeah, it didn't really work out when you've got Alex's domestique with you, and he was like, I can't pull. And I was like. I was like, I know you're a strong a rider, Sam, but hey, it's his, it's, he has to do what he has to do. And uh, it was really fun out there, and it started raining. I saw a couple of the top contenders at the back, and I really uh, pushed on, and we dropped a couple of the top contenders. And uh, yeah, it was just a good old run battle like last time. And a great tune-up, really. I mean, the Olympics only two months away now. Yeah, no, it's a great tune-up for the for Paris. And hey, looking uh, looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to be back on the circuit. Thanks for the entertainment. Great race. Always a pleasure, Trevor. See you later. You must be absolutely thrilled with that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm totally to the moon and back. It's unbelievable. It's, you know, my first podium, so I was dreaming about this day too. I was really close many times in the past years, but finally reaching the podium, it's, it's an incre incredible feeling with and standing on the podium with such guys like Alex and, and Hayden. So yes, I'm incredibly happy and very grateful for the team around me, especially my father and, and my training mates. So, yeah, I, I, I hope this is only the start and, and uh, the way going up from here. And after all the travel you've done, Yokohama, Watelco, and then back to Europe, you must be exhausted, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really know in which time zone I'm at the moment. Yeah, I had, I, this is my third race week on the third continent. So, yes, that, but maybe this is what I need to get in shape. So, it will be a really expensive uh, preparation to do like this, but I have everything for the performance. <laughs> Fantastic race today, well done. Thank you very much. Here we have the top 20, so gold, Alex Yee, silver, Hayden Wild, 
bronze song to in his first ever medal at the World Series. Great time to do it, leading to Paris. Vetla Torn coming in uh, fourth for Norway. It's a bit further down the court, getting that sixth position and sealing that Olympic selection. Uh, Luke William, another great performance from him, as with Charles Paquet. Then coming into that top 20, Alberto Gonzalez surely has done enough to secure men, uh, the Spanish men their third spot. Martin Van Riel with that penalty. Hugo Milger, incredible running. Leo Bajer fading in 16th. And uh, we had two, Aus uh, two Americans, Matt McElroy in 17th. And it was Seth Ryder rounding out that top 20. Representing Hungary, Chongor Lehmann. First ever medal at this level for the Hungarian. Still only 24. I think he's only going to get better. Now the silver for Wilds. Growing collection of medals for the Kiwi. Alex e. I think that's seven World Triathlon Championship Series wins for Yi. Why he's one of the red hot favourites to win the Olympics in a couple of months' time, but. Several men will have their eyes on that prize. Luke William. Luke William, meanwhile, don't think too many would have had him down as the series leader after two races, but that is the scenario. But a bronze and an eighth position is both like incredible, really great results for him. Well, I think we're going to see many more battles between Wilde and Yi in the next few years. Maybe see one in Paris. Might be a few other men involved, though, in the French capital. Well, well worth noting uh, where we're going to go to after this. So we've had Yokohama and Cagliari. Next stop, just before the Games, Hamburger Sprint Event, then the Olympics. Then we'll be in Weihai in China in September and Torremolinos, Spain in October for the Grand Final. Congratulations to all the medalists. And a note to please join us again in Hamburg about three weeks before the Olympic Games. For now, though, from myself, Trevor Harris for Helen Jenkins, we'll see you in a few weeks. Bye for now.